all right good to see you once again and i believe you're doing well and healthy today all right so welcome back to my channel this is the kdm channel and you are welcome if it's the first time coming across this channel please stay with us by touching the subscribe button and don't forget to touch your bell and i know you'll be blessed as we go in the name of jesus so today i'm still looking at what i have termed the series about the sensory organs and today after talking about the tongue which is the mouth last time i'm about to talk about the eye so now look at the eye and see what the eye is all about the eye in the body i have seen how the mouth can lead us to hell and what the mouth shouldn't be used for the last time let's see how about the eye what does the bible tell us about the eye what do we understand about the eye it's just is the eye just part of the body that we just think we have the eyes the eyes should look good and beautiful let's see what god is going to say through his word today concerning the human eye and so i have here what is the use of the eye first of all the eye is used to collect light um, from the visible world that forms images or information or ob objects that we cannot translate or transmit or describe as humans all right so that's what the eye does for us in the human don't forget the bible says in matthew chapter 6 verse 22 that the eye is the light of the body and the eye is very important to your body since your eye is the light of your body when your eye is not in good use or the eye is no good the bible says your life will be full of darkness all right so let's see if that be it what do we now have so i want you to understand first of all that we have two kind of eyes as human beings we have the physical eye as we see the act of the apostles chapter 1 verse 9 where jesus departed from his um, disciples so Acts 1 9 says now when jesus had spoken these things while they watched he was taken up and a cloud received him out of their sight now this sight the um, question had in here this side that the Bible is talking about here is the physical eyes because no matter how spiritual we want to be sometimes sometimes there may be one person or two who will not see the same revelation of vision that, will, that the Lord will show to his servants even when you are all pastors or prophets at a particular time just like when God appeared to Moses him alone will see God him alone will hear others will hear so even to today sometimes when ministers when prophets the ones that see the most right are uh, together in a place not all of them will see the same thing at the same time but in this particular case here god was the bible is talking about the physical sight the one that all the, the servant all the apostles all the disciples of jesus could see as he was taken away from their sight they all saw him all of them including the women that came to announce um to them about that jesus has risen again so jesus was taken up in our side this is the physical side the physical eye here so what about the spiritual eye what is the spiritual eye let's see ephesians 1 18 ephesians 1 18 okay it says the eyes of your understanding being enlightened that you may know what is the hope of his calling what are the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saint now this eyes of your understanding is a spiritual eye you because even as a physical human being like a human being you can see things physically and not understand but you need the eyes of your understanding that is your spiritual eye to be open to be good for you to understand some things especially when the things are revealed in the spiritual realm so you need the eyes of understanding like the bible says it said, to be enlightened to be good to be opened that is when you begin to make use of your spiritual eyes and of course there are different levels in spiritual eyes some people's eyes are widely open while some people are growing their eyes are beginning to open all right so those are the two kinds of eyes we have physical eye and the spiritual eye now what are the benefits of the eyes i will take this to this video on the physical eye in my next video or some other time i'll make time to make a video on the spiritual eyes and how to open them and how you can work on it and how to use them to see but today we're talking about the physical eyes and the number one thing about the physical eye the benefit or the use of the physical eye is this the eyes are the windows to the soul you know what do i mean by the eyes being the window to the soul when you see somebody 
even detectives will tell you when they say this person committed murder or is a thief or somebody breaks somebody's heart or somebody's in love with somebody you can read the emotion most times or detect the feeling most times from the eyes that is why it's always important when you see somebody say i want to talk to you face to face because you want to be looking at them while talking so they can understand the ones you're not able to say that is why the eye is the window to your soul. So you can use the eye to see how bad somebody can be. Some people are blind. They don't get to see that somebody has bad intention. Even when the person is clearly, all the signs are clearly there. But the eyes, when you look at them critically, you can tell someone who is mean. A soft person is being known to be soft. Most times, even when you look at them, you can tell from their eyes that they are soft. All right. So the eye is the window to the soul. Because the eye provides lots of information about the person, all right? Especially the person's emotional state. Listen number two. Number two is the eyes are used to see the truth and behold the beauty of nature. Wow. Now, the eyes are not meant for you to see things and insult them or criticize them. First of all, the eyes were there for you to behold the beauty of God's creations. And these creatures include human beings. You see some beautiful people, the eyes is there for you to admire, the not to lust after them. The eye is there for you to behold the beautiful mountains, behold the waving waves of the sea, behold beautiful nature, nature and scenery around you, to behold, behold all the beautiful creatures, the creation of the Lord. Because the Lord created them and made them beautiful and he expects and wants us to marvel at them, of course, to give him thanks. And being aware of what he has done and what he can do. Because everything we see around us today are creations of the Lord God Almighty. And he has made them beautiful for us to appreciate them. And with touch your eyes, you can see them. So those that are born blind do not understand what the mountains look like. Or how beautiful the mountain can be. Or how beautiful the ocean or the sea can be when they are calm. When it's pure, deep blue, or when it's sky blue, and beautiful things like that. Aside, of course, the man-made things like buildings and stuff we have in the world today, that's also added beauty to the world. So God made this eye so we can also see and behold his beauty. Alright, so the third one is the eye is a source of power. Now, if the Bible tells us about the eyes of our, stand, of our understanding, it practically means that with the eyes and you understand things, you get power. If you see things and you don't understand them, you are still helpless. You don't understand things and you just see them. You can stay in that same place and be harassed or killed. But when you understand signs and things around you, you have power. So the eye also gives you power. When you understand things around you, just imagine that... When the Philistines caught Samson and shaved his hair, he became powerless, right? The power was in the hair. But why did they have to gouge out his eyes? They have to gouge out his eyes to make him more helpless. To make sure that he's really, really, really powerless. Do you understand? As a human, just try for one minute. Close your eyes and walk from your still room to your bedroom. You understand what I mean? So there is power in sight. When you can see, you can navigate. Just try driving with your eyes closed and use your spiritual eyes to drive. Of course, some people say they, they, their spiritual eyes is that good. They can close their eyes and see the road and still navigate and drive. But I'm talking about just you, just a normal person. Can you just close your eyes and drive? Can you close your eyes and move from Palo to the room or go upstairs, your eyes closed, navigate to your whole house? You must be born blind to be able to assess that because there's a gifting for those who are born blind. They are aided somehow by the spiritual realm to be able to navigate things or sense things much more than we we're born with our eyes to our sight scan. All right, so let's see the next point. The next one says the eye is a source of strength. Let's see how is the eye a source of strength. Uh, and the Bible verse says, says Second Corinthians chapter four verse eighteen. Uh huh. It says, Why would you not look at the things that are seen, but at the things which are not seen? All right. For things which are seen are temporal, but things which are not seen are eternal. Now, as a Christian, you understand that sometimes you may just be weak. Sometimes your faith actually goes very low and down. If you look around you, everything around you tells you, my friend, it is over. Why are you still bothering? Why are you still praying? Why are you still believing? But your eyes, now, seeing them 
around you will also make you think about the other way around just instead of seeing the negative ones the things that are not there try to picture your eyes and the things that are there or take your eyes back to the things that you've had that will build your faith because you would know that these things they are seeing that are not there right now are temporal they will just go away all right so the eye is a source source of strength and it can also improve your faith all right and the fifth one we have here is the eyes the height the eyes helps you in building self-control now you can choose what you want to see you can choose not to watch pornos or to see violence or to see um things that are really 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 um not good for the site things that are demeaning where where people are practicing some form of in, inhumanity when you take your eyes out of it you can get self-control from wanting to do things that are like that let's see what job 31 verse 1 says uh -huh. it says i have made a covenant with my eyes when then why then should i look upon a young woman if you look upon a young woman too much you begin to lust after her i like another version this is new king's version but i want to see what amplified will say so job 30 one job 31 verse 1 okay it says i dictated a covenant an agreement to my eyes okay this one it says i made a covenant with my eyes an agreement with my eyes how then could i look lustfully upon a girl how then do i look lustfully they say this is why i love amplified version sometimes all right so because when I was reading this, I understood what I was trying to say. But maybe reading to you might just seem not shaming. I have a covenant with my eyes. Why then should I look upon a young woman? Of course I have to look upon a young woman. But the Bible says, why then should you look upon a young woman lustfully? Why then should you look lustfully to her? Because you can see, ten you men, ten people can see a particular image and seven will see it normally and that three will see it differently. Lustfully. Alright? So this is what the eye is all about choose to control your eyes choose that your eye will help you be self-controlled so avoid to gaze upon things that will cause lust to you all right so let's see what it says more in first john 2 16. all right for all the things for all that is in the world the loss of the flesh the loss of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the father but of the world all right so the things that will cost you to lost the loss of the eyes includes the kind of videos or movies you don't want to watch uh, focusing on watching even musical videos that you shouldn't be watching because they're all semi-naked or choosing to watch when people are fighting watch violence those things are not good when you put your gaze away from it to help you gain self-control all right and the last one we have here is that the eyes help you to build focus and i took the verse the point from proverbs chapter 4 verses 25 let your eyes look straight ahead and your eyelids look right before you all right let your eyes look straight ahead and your eyelids look straight before you when your eyes are looking straight ahead of the road it means you are focused on getting to the finishing end you're looking straight ahead but when you keep looking around looking around you're going to be distracted because when you look around you're going to find things that are going to take your time so the eyes is supposed to help you focus it's supposed to help you look straight ahead and remain focused not to be wasting time looking around you and i'm sure that this few points will be a blessing to you to know how to rightfully use your eyes and why the eyes you have is there in the first place not for you to focus on things around you and be distracted and miss the point of your destiny or miss the point of the, of the place where you're going to either in life in career or in business or even the calling by the lord or Focus your eyes and things that will cause you to lust after the flesh. So, 
make sure that you take time to go through this video again and take note of the points so that you can begin to use your eyes in the way that your spirit man will be edified i want to thank you for staying with us and please if it's the first time and you haven't yet done the subscription yet please touch the button now and join us thank you for doing just that as you also give us a thumbs up and drop a comment have you been blessed by this video let us know by sharing your comment and also telling us what you think the eyes also is used for or what the eyes should be used for we'll be happy to hear from you god bless you and shalom thank you for watching our teachings today i hope you've been blessed by it i want to thank god for your life for just watching it all right as this teaching has been a blessing to you and you are touched to give your life to jesus christ please say this prayer after me oh lord Thank you for making me know you today. I believe in your son Jesus Christ that he died for my sin and he rose again. Today I believe that he is my Lord and personal Savior. I accept him to my life as my Lord and Savior and I'm born again. Thank you for saving me in Jesus' name. Amen. Congratulations for giving your life to Christ. You're welcome to the family of God and I believe your life will never be the same again. Please stay tuned and subscribe to our channel so you can get more teachings and so you can also grow in the things of the spirit find a living church around you to fellowship with them all the time so that you can stay fast in the things of god and god will surely bless you so if you'd like to give and support the ministry by giving a token please use the account details on the screen and support us and help us take the gospel to the ends of the earth god bless you as you give us and stay blessed